What I am going to say next is not a warning, nor is it a spoiler. Surviving the long dark is impossible. It is a fact, one of inevitability. No matter what, these runs will only end one way and one way only. In a journey filled with triumph and loss, one with redemption, I will survive 100 days no matter what. But will those days be consecutive or broken up over multiple lives? That you will have to find out on your own. Along with survival, my goal is to always keep moving and to explore as much of the world as possible. This is a continuation of my previous video, I Don't Survive 100 days in the long dark but watching that video was not fully required to understand this video however you will miss references here and there We have a great spawn by a church. Since shelter is right here I took my time looking around but as it turns out this shelter was no good at all. Found a scarf and revolver ammo though. Since it isn't safe here, we have to go for the lighthouse. Oh shh. Yo, that wolf was so close. Very close wolf howl. Made it to the lighthouse. It's still cold, even inside. We have about a coin flip's chance to start a fire and we need to get warm up or risk hypothermia and death by exposure. Oh man oh man. We were successful this time. We need gear. We're tremendously fragile. Started making water and then decided to have a look around. Found some more water. A parka and a revo. Yo! A revolver! Huh. What have we here? Bro, a storm lantern? More revolver ammo, tomato soup, cooking oil, herbal tea, running oats. This is a very great start though. We're good on protection, food, water, gear, and shelter. I want to explore more, but there's a wolf here and I don't want to get into a fight right now. But this is a new day. I must let go of fear. Fear of death may just cause it instead, and I've got to keep moving. So let's do it scared. Went right because that other wolf went left and there's a moose. I knew I heard something. I checked this car and then the wolf returned. Going back to base is seeming like more and more of a better idea. Live to fight another day. It's brighter outside now. Definitely want to go to the right of here. There's a bridge and what looks to be a pier. Hopefully we can swivel around where that moose was or use a tree as cover if we get into a fight. But it's super cold so I'll just make some water. Also made some tomato soup, set out and a blizzard set in. Yo, it's actively getting worse dog. Mm -mm -mm. Jeez. Finally good enough weather to head out. So hopefully it runs off and falls over somewhere because I, I do not want it to keep coming back here. The moose is still on the road so I navigated around the ice and found Matt's truck. There's a mountaineering rope in here and an orange soda. Sweet, I have no idea where that is. There are a bunch of trailers and a cannery-like pier that we saw earlier. Let's check it all out before I die of hypothermia. I think I see a maple sapling, but I need a tool to cut that. This place has an interior. The Rickin! Rickin' Ba! 
Kaga Utau. <laughs> Accidentally slept and then found a scrawled note and a key to the lockbox right outside of where we're going next. Made it to the processing center. We need to secure water before nightfall. These are crazily complexly connected trailers, but I doubt there's gonna be a fire pit inside. Simple parka and a half liter of water. Nice. Hunkered down, started a fire outside of the door to get some water. Desolation point, 3 out of 11 so far. These lovely sunrises are so beautiful in the morning, but it's deathly cold. This is a beauty that may someday prove to be my demise. Huge bones! Whales? Yeah, it's a whale processing place. Found a flare and a super well hidden pry bar. Cracked the safe and found some well insulated boots in there and another rifle round. This place has a fire barrel, a workbench, more revolver ammo, and I found a fire striker, hacksaw, heavy hammer, car battery, lots of food, a hockey sweater, found another trailer, and there was a gunsmithing book in there and a sewing kit. Nice, absolutely nice. After a while of rooting around, I finally found this hidden cache where there are a bunch of marine flares and flare shelves as well. There are three wolves right outside this place and a bridge to another part of the world maybe. Checking out the main entrance to this place, I also found a firearm, firearm cleaning kit. kit. This is a joke, bro. Hey yo, I am literally spoon fed right now. There's something walking around outside of the car. It's a wolf. Seems like it came to check me out. Ran back to the processing place, made some water, and repaired clothes for the rest of the day. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Heading out and going toward the cache. I have no idea how to leave Desolation Point and get into Coastal Highway, but it's probably not this way. Maybe the best idea is to avoid the road since those wolves are ever present. Discovered the broken bridge and another waterfall, as well as the edge of the map freezing and on the way back we see a bear got a little warm and then headed back out this time going toward the lighthouse but i wanted to check out what's on the other side of this road after sleeping for an hour we headed back out again Stepped outside once more, shot twice, and then maybe hit twice, I'm not sure, but the bear runs off. This place is not nearly as safe as I thought it was. There is something weird going on with the text in my journal, but today was overall a win. We're now at 5 out of 11 locations for this area. I've gotta keep moving, but I won't rush. If I go at my own pace, I know everything will be okay. After today's experience, I'm moving forward with a new mentality. If I think I hear something, then I definitely do. I want to know what's on the other side of this road. It's probably a bear cave, but what's the other way? It's so wolf packed though. This bear is blocking the way. Maybe it's just the area that the moose was. Let's explore this island first, since we missed it when we came this way last time. Got that green maple sapling and then hit a rabbit with a rock, but I wasn't quick enough and yet again failed to defeat a little rabbit in one-on-one -on -one combat. I did get it on the next try with an admittedly awful throw and now we're stinky. I want to map the other bridge and waterfall as well as that abandoned building that we spawned near that'll probably be another three survey locations. Heard some crows and then found a corpse. We could probably identify who this person was even if years have passed given the relative stability of DNA and the extreme cold of this world. Got a flashlight. Pretty cool, but I'm probably not going to use that. So let's leave it at the lighthouse. Combing the beach can be pretty dangerous, but I got two simple arrows and a broken arrow. We are well on our way to a bow. We again witness natural selection unfolding in front of us as the wolf chased and then downed a deer. I decided to invest a bullet into saving that downed deer carcass. Beach combing. Got an energy drink, a cured rabbit hide, a coho samo, more arrows, and a downed wolf but I'll be a bit too stinky if I get this pelt.
barely any time. Just pure reaction. I want to map at least three more locations today and then move out of Desolation Point if I don't find a hunting knife. If I find a hunting knife, then I'll take the time to either make a wolf skin coat or a bear skin coat. What? I got food poisoning from the salmon? 10 hours to recover? I mean, I guess it was kind of bad before we cooked it. Took antibiotics, but... We're still down pretty bad and losing condition. And we're getting exhausted so quickly. This is pretty bad, but I need to make water first. Just two more hours of rest needed now. Finally, rested up enough to heal from that food poisoning. Setting out very late, there are two circles of crows, probably the deer and the wolf. There's another wolf that hangs out around this area, so I'll have to be cautious. I saw a little paw prints and knew it was close. Let's go home. Rough night, but I'm ready to make some progress today. Scoped out a safe path to travel, looping around the bridge and the waterfall. Today, I'm actually a bit excited because I'm gonna try out a new strategy for deterring wolves. Light the flare, drop it, and then point at the wolf with my gun. I aimed? and then the wolf turns and runs away. However, it then turned back toward me, so I went for the headshot and was successful. I hear that using a torch and a rock also works. As the storm sets in, we have to collect this meat. Pretty quickly, got a bunch of meat and then sprinted back to the bridge, absolutely freezing. The condition of this meat is very poor, but we cooked it and it got better. I also took a torch from this fire to maybe use later. I'll make a small habit out of this. Made it back to the stone church to have another look around. It looks like there's a gate over here. There's also some birch and I got a couple more maple saplings as well. There's a path and it goes so far, but to where? Hopefully not a bear den. Continuing with my aversion to low ground, we make it to this place where there's a climb. We can put the mountaineering rope here that we found in Matt's truck. And we found a mine. Whoa, this is the way out of Desolation Point. Found the hatchet inside. Life just got a little easier. Discovered the blocked highway. Very tired now, and it's getting pretty late. Discovered the abandoned mine, but that didn't add to our survey locations. I'm thinking the last two survey locations are the broken bridge and maybe the other by blocked highway. I started a fire outside instead of using the pot belly stove because I can cook two things at once with this. This lighting and relighting strategy is one that I learned from watching one of Zach Nefine's videos. It's great for maintaining a torch without having to use any resources. Whoa, this mine was pretty short and straightforward to navigate and led me back to the Rickenbacker. Why are there two wolves running at me? I'm not stinky. I'm still not at 10 out of 11. Explored down and around the blocked highway. I think I found a secret path. Katie's secluded corner. A survival bow, amazing. Now to make some runs. This, pack is getting heavy. this meat is absolutely rancid. Cooking improves condition, but by how much?
Happily, I didn't get poisoned. Maybe getting food poisoning from the coho salmon was a low percentage or something. And Aurora started up as we cooked. So I took the time to check out this laptop message. Today, I'll at least grab the pelts from these downed animals and then head over to the whaling place in search of the last survey location. Mapping right now might be a bad idea because it looks like weather is going to set in and we're already halfway to exhausted. So I decide to hunt a rabbit instead. We're almost ready to leave this location. Most nights, I don't just go straight to sleep. I do my best to work efficiently, sharpening or doing other actions while cooking to double up on our productivity. Heading out around midday. At least it's super warm. Made it to the whaling outpost and somehow the wolves are already sprinting around? Why? Probably due to the presence of the bear. I wanted to test out if they could climb the stairs and yes, yes they can. It was indeed the bear. That's what's causing these wolves gone wild. Now that we know where the bear is, we can readily avoid it. Three wolves are coming, and so is the bear. It's like a ticking time bomb. Brute-like and brooding, this bear is bearing down, slowly meandering its way over here. As I'm pinned down by these wolves, a broken bridge at our back, and cliffs to either side. The only escape was to Skyrim crouch climb down these rocks. We managed to escape it, but where is that last survey location? Took a look from the top of the lighthouse. Maybe it's one of those islands, or that little patch of darkness near Katie's secluded corner? It's absolutely awful outside this morning, and we need firewood, food, and water. Hunted a rabbit after a few shots with the bow and arrow, so we're at least good for now. Now another parka washed up in the trunk, and another hatchet in Katie's secluded corner. I have enough food to get through the night, but I'll have to starve just a little. I need to move on from this area. Finding that last survey location tomorrow is paramount. I'm out of tinder plugs. I remembered there was cardboard up at that church, so I went there to grab some. Hunted a rabbit as well. I hope that we can make it back while a bit stinky. We're down bad and it's getting dark. Exhausted, I had to gather firewood and cook, barely passing 600 calories for 10 hours of rest. We need food. The first living thing we come across will cease its life as a separate entity from ourselves and will be amalgamated into us and live on as what the f am I talking about? Took down a deer. It was just the perfect situation. It got spooked and then ran right toward us. Fired off two shots, turned, and then downed it. Revolver skill leveled up and so did the cooking skill. Made it back home. I want to go to that island, but that wolf sure has our number. All reliable Skyrim crouch climb to the rescue. Uh, I found this weird rabbit. It has 0% condition, but shows up on the ice and seems to be harvestable. Uh, okay. Eventually, we made it to this little island. Yes, 11 out of 11. Dancing with the rabbits. Let's go. Amazing. <laughs> There's not a lot here on this island. The bear. It must have taken down those wolves. Might as well check out this little boat while we're here. How did I fall through? 
I was on the boat. This is looking pretty bad. Trying to be proactive, I took a sip of this energy drink because there's another wolf between us and home and we need to chop firewood. Tired. I could lay down right here. Everything is frozen or wet. Luckily, I have this extra parka and this t-shirt. I did not want to stop at the Rick Inn because we would have died if we stayed the night there. There's no food or water. Hypothermia, exhausted and starving. We'll make it through the night thanks to that deer that we took down earlier. You live on in us. I made some herbal tea to give us some better rest for the night. Today, we will be recovering from hypothermia and collecting some materials for us to head out. I don't have tinder plugs? Oh no, a storm is setting in and we need those tinder plugs. We've got to go out. Looks like we're going to starve for a while, but at least we have these water purification tablets so we can have some water. I hope there's more cardboard at the church. Sticks! Sticks! Sticks can be broken down into tinder plugs. Life! You know what I noticed? This area is devoid of cloth and cattail stalks. I guess some things are native to some areas. One last day here. I'm really staying here much longer than I would have preferred, but I don't want this deer meat to go to waste. So I also plan to harvest these rabbits and set the pelts to cure. We can make that hat now if we make it to a crafting table in the next region. Leaving some supplies here just in case we need to return. And one last gift before we leave is Carcass Harvesting Level 2. Early start because the mines are kind of far. The wolves have begun migrating back into this area, so it's a great day to leave. Hit the mine and found a pry bar and a crafting table. We may sleep here tonight and make that rabbit skin hat. Found the exit. Where did we come out? Rumbling highway. One out of five, already done. I see a burned out house there, but the weather is turning, so I don't think that we'll go very far today. I'm gonna to focus on crafting for a bit. Hat, Usagi-san, arigato gozaimashita. Whoa, crafting arrows increases archery? That's pretty sweet. Food poisoning again. But how? It was 70% condition. Starving. We make our way on and I hear something. A rabbit maybe?
The torch was almost out and the wolf was not being frightened. So I shot. The second I did, the wolf turned. Found a cave to shack up in. It's a nice respite for now. I hope the weather clears up. This place is freezing cold. Ran into the wolves on the way back. We're so cold that our hands are shaking. We made it back to the mine safely, but geez, man, what a rough day. I'm very nervous about exploring, but let's do it scared. Road collapse. That's two out of five. Let's keep moving. Weather set in. I found the way out. I went to map, but I need a shore shelter to retreat to in case the weather goes completely bad. Coastal highway. Ah, huh, sweet. Commuters lament. When we have the time, we have two locations to survey. A house right around the corner. Coastal Highway has 18 locations that we have to survey. This place is huge. Got a sick new sweater and a good amount of food. There's no place to start a fire though, so it won't be a great home base. Checking out this other little house, there's a 100% condition full coho salmon. I see a house, a bridge, another house, and a bunch of fishing huts. So we have a lot to do tomorrow. I may hold off on exploring the crumbling highway for a bit. I want to get more settled in coastal first. We got commuters lament and two coastal highway survey locations. The weather is great. There is a big old house on that island hill there. Maybe that will become the home base? I don't think it's possible to reach the top of this place here. Let's go somewhere else. There's a house on that other island hill too. An overlook. Maybe there's a photo vista there as well. But we gotta find a Polaroid first. Random wolf growl? Super close. So I pop my flare preemptively and yep right there get out of here just as fog sets in over coastal highway misanthropes homestead misanthrope that's an interesting word a person who avoids human society let's see how stacked you are because you got to be pretty self-sufficient right got to be a charcoal stove here right <laughs> of course not but a uh, fire isn't super needed right now anyway. I'll need it for water tomorrow and for cooking later today. But for now, it's all right. Plus, we have those fishing huts down on the lake if we really get strapped. There's a lot to see from here, including a bear. At least we know where it is now, so we can readily avoid it in the future. I want to travel to that other hill home. Uh, seems like wolves are guarding this house too. Yeah, so we can collect charcoal from these little fireplaces as well. A trap backpack. It's a trap. I'm gonna crouch and sneak past these wolves. I hope I succeed on my stuff. Check. Found some arrows, but I'm absolutely not going to pick up this ruined coho salmon, especially not next to these wolves. Attempt number two with a boat like this. And blah, blah, nah, no way. Jackrabbit Island. Sick name, dude. Awesome. There's a wolf right outside, so no mapping yet. Went inside and found a balaclava and some cargoes. Two very key items for better thriving in these frigidly cold conditions. My survey locations is messing up again, so for now it's just showing 5 out of 18. Let's go for those houses next. Whoa, two wolves. These mangy, marauding, meandering, maleficent miscreants are always mucking around. Well, if you muck around, you mind out. Decided to hit this ice hut on the way to that settlement of home. There is a Revo bullet and a bar in here. It's the fishing camp. There's an outside workbench and also 10 rounds. I'll take it. I spent the morning reading this book and became an ice fishing novice from reading alone. A win for book smarts. Bear. Mm, let's not go this way. I don't like what the weather is doing and I saw this doored up fishing hut and we need water so uh, let's just go. Just making some water and getting ready to fish. The bear is just outside of these huts. I might take a couple crack shots to be honest. Maybe like five or six will take it down. That went about as well as I thought it would. And the ice fishing did too, if not a bit better. I got a small trout and then made some bait from that. A quick experiment. I've always wondered how long mapping takes. I know it's less than an hour, so my assumption was that it's about 15 minutes. This rockfish will take 21 minutes to cook. Let's map and see the elapsed time. 15 minutes, awesome, I was right. I'm no experimental astrophysicist, but that felt good. Now, hopefully I'm not being door camped by a vengeful bear.
Mm, we're good. Let's go. This car is a jackpot. We're pretty close to this hill cabin. Gotta keep following the river. Mapped a new area, Bear Creek Campground. There is another Revo here. We'll take it to the cabin. We found the bridge, but where is the cabin actually? I remember this area. Great, there's a trailer up ahead. Hopefully some water. <laughs> Halfway done with Coastal Highway. Awesome. We still have some daylight left. Let's go to the cabin just down the hill. Knowing the map is powerful. Down the tracks is a transition to the ravine. So that'll be the last thing that we map while we're in this area. How did I miss the cabin by so much? That's crazy. There might be something over that way. Ha! Ah, there's the cabin. But it's the wrong cabin. Yes, found it for real this time. Now, where's that cash? Reread the note. It's imperceptible to the eye. You just gotta know where it is. I could eat a horse. It's in lock, cause I love horses. Exploring around, found another cabin that I'll stay at for the night. I'm no ice cube, but today was a good day. Setting out. It looks like we've come up on a new location. Another pier of some kind? So using a spray doesn't count as a survey in the same way that charcoal does. There's a mine outside. I can't map right now, I'm out of charcoal. There's an elevator in here. Maybe it works during an aurora. Hey, there's an overlook. Those tend to have inside fireplaces, so I'd like to make my way for it. They can also have more goodies like a distress pistol and some firewood. I'm sure there's a proper path, but let's just walk straight up there if we can. More cabins. I want some charcoal, so let's light a fire between these cabins. That should be good enough to block the wind. Oh, there's a climb, and definitely one I can make. So that probably means that there are two climbs, because after all, there's always going to be another mountain. We'll go in the morning. There's a bear walking down toward the cabins. Is there another path to get up to that overlook? Whoa, the bear is down. Drop the pelt in this cabin here. I want to travel this path. Maybe it goes up to the overlook. I miss every shot. This place looks barren and there are signs of a struggle. A distress pistol. Yes! and a mountaineering rope. I think I can use this. So far, we have 25 out of 215 survey locations. We're averaging about one survey location a day, which is okay, but we have a lot more work ahead of us. Over the next couple of days, I want to complete the crumbling highway and coastal highway and then head on out. Whoa, there's another mine entrance here. Is there another way out of coastal highway? Exploring here, we got a fire starting book, which is really good. 
Whoa, Pleasant Valley. And it's even larger in size. Where am I? Is there a house around here? I might as well take a quick look. Oh, unexpected, but lovely. We got the skill up. Another random wolf attack. And another random wolf attack. I think that I'm biting off more than I can chew here. We need sanctuary. We're getting very tired, but we have to press on. Why are these wolves guarding a broken down cabin? Yeah, great job, man. You're, you're doing awesome. I have no idea where everything is. There is not a single house on the road. Ironically, I found the point of disagreement. No way, the mockery. There was a settlement right by the mines. We just turned the wrong way. The mockery. Okay, there's a cabin. Let's go. Thank you. High ground. No, 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 no. It's an inaccessible outhouse. Oh, at least we have some peaches. We have to sleep in this derelict house tonight and hope for the best. This is all we have. Not such a pleasant valley, if you ask me. Where's the hospitality? Today, we go back to the mines and finish up Coastal Highway before coming back to Pleasant Valley. Let's hustle up because it is cold. Whoa, there's food and a respite cave here. Awesome, fire starting level three. <laughs> Talk about a lucky find, a cave and a downed animal. It was starting to look kind of rough and we also started getting hypothermia as well. Since we have shelter, food and some water, I'll map a little bit before going back to coastal. I'm so curious to check out that other direction, but right now is not the time. I see the small town that we saw from that mapping. That'll be the first place that we go to when we return here. Simply turning left instead of right could have really saved us from a risky situation. Got a couple of survey locations today and then decided to explore just a bit more before sleeping in the mines. Found a cabin instead. And that cabin had an MRE inside of it. Amazing. Going to maximize on survey locations today. This MRE makes us way more mobile. Got to the ravine survey location, so now there are only four left. Making the long journey across the map to investigate the other locations along the road and then tackling the water last. Climb down, hunted a rabbit, and then found a trailer near a cool red house. Another MRE, and there's another climb. Silent clearing survey location, 15 out of 18. There's a house and it looks very nice. Check it out. There's a garage or something down there. Maybe a gas station like Orca? Definitely a place to map. Made it into this house, but it didn't give us a survey location. Coastal town site. This peacoat is awesome. Whoa, 17 out of 18. We got two survey locations with that last mapping. Got a tin of sardines. It looks like this was produced from the last resort cannery. Interesting. Wow, this garage is loaded. A cool jacket and some incredibly heavy shoes. Four kilograms is wild. This garage has it all. Two workbenches, a fire barrel, a bed. Easily the best place in the map. It is wild that I discovered it second to last. This stuff will come in handy. Went to find the last survey location and had a close encounter with a duo of dastardly devils. It's not by commuter's lament. The next largest patch is in the middle of the frozen water here. It's a blizzard, but we're pretty close to these cabins, so it's cool. Read a book and became skilled in carcass harvesting. Also hit mending level two novice while waiting out this storm. Unfortunately, the storm hung around all day, so we slept here for the night. 
Let's check out what's in the middle of this water. If it is mappable, maybe we can do it from inside of this hut. Mapping didn't reveal the last location. What? The tooth? How unobvious is this? But yeah, sweet, we're done. Let's just go ahead and recoup at the garage, finish the crumbling highway, and then continue on to Pleasant Valley. I want to end this day by the water cottages in order to be closer to the crumbling highway for tomorrow's expedition. I ran into a wolf who truly wanted no smoke because they ran at the sight of fire. But when they keep rushing, I got nervous and saw it as a chance to up our skill with the Revo. Today will be maximally successful if we can map the last three survey locations of Crumbling Highway and make it back to the garage here in Coastal. We'll need luck with weather and luck with finding these survey locations to get everything done in time. Great, we got one right away. So now there's just one place left. Whoa, there's a cellar here. And it looks like another destroyed house, but it doesn't seem to be the last survey location. Maybe it's down on the water. There's a really cool rock formation over there that looks like it should be a significant survey location. Mapping didn't work here, so let's go check out those cool rocks. The arch, awesome, got it. I remember the cache, so I hit it up just before going back to the garage, and it was well worth it. It seems like we're fine. The mittens took a hit. And it was kind of scary, but we're all right. Came down with cabin fever risk just before leaving, which is okay. Headed toward the climb, met a couple of wolves out on the road. I decided to show them my best interpretation of a stormtrooper and then kept it pushing. Made it to Pleasant Valley. There is our goal. The town that we saw the last time we were here. I made it to the sheer side of this cliff. I see more settlements out in the distance. Cut across this river to dodge some wolf encounters and then made it into this town. Then we traveled into the community center. This place here is truly sanctuary. There's so much. A great stove, by far the best cooking place that we've come across. This will be our HQ here in Pleasant Valley. All expeditions of the region will be based out of here. First, I'll try to do some scouting where we leave behind things like the pry bar and the hunting knife so that we can minimize inventory space for lighter travel. Then we can double back if we find lockers or car trunks that we want to pry open. Found Thompson's family recipe here. It's our first recipe card. There's a bunch of food next door at the gas station as well. It turns out cabin fever risk is actually a problem. We're at 45% and I hope that we can make it through the night. My next goal is to clear the northeast of the map, Timberwolf Mountain, Black Rock, and Ash Canyon, since I've never been to any of those regions before. Then doubling back into Mystery Lake and maybe Mountain Town, which I have some experience with already. But I don't want to go into Timberwolf territory without some added protection, such as a rifle and enough ammunition for both the future rifle and for our current Revo. I want to check out across the bridge. I know there's a wolf over here, but we're well prepared for that. I didn't expect to find a bear. Warmed up and then headed back out. It looks like a storm might set in soon. Made it to Contemplation Bridge and the weather is indeed taking a turn for the worse. But there's so much to explore out here. A barn and some farmhouses. And there's something down the frozen river. I don't trust that the barn will be too well insulated. So for now, my plan is to go back to a known shelter from the elements. Crouch down to block the wind as I map. Pretty cheeky strategy, huh? I just might hang out here for a while since we're developing cabin fever risk and we're actually getting warmer. 
You know, I'm just gonna be a bit brave here and go for that barn. If this ledge is blocking the wind enough, then hopefully the barn will be better than that. There's an inside to this place that's actually sequestered from environmental conditions. This is perfect. All of these lockers require the pry bar. There's another distress pistol next to this indoor workbench. And there's another bear outside. I accidentally fired a bullet and then saw a radio tower off in that direction. Maybe there's a vista for that? Heartbreak Bridge, a barn, and a nice place to stay tonight. It looks like there's a huge house just across the way. The farm's dead, but we're so tired that we're gonna have to loot in the morning. We wake up today, well over a month into our survival journey, and it sounds just awful outside. Whoa, there's a basement to this place. A lot of lantern fuel, found another heavy hammer here, and endless chairs that we can break down for firewood. found another farmstead, but this one is kind of run down. There's a down wolf here, which is somewhat scary to me because it could be a mark of Timberwolf territory. Maybe the entrance to Timberwolf Mountain is around here? Found a cave. This might have to be home for the night. Also found a waterfall that mapped pretty poorly. Looks like there's another structure over there. Wait, this is the barn from before. We just went in a circle. Well, let's go for that radio tower tomorrow. Wow, look at it up there. Light-hearted and likably looming like a laden laid-back lady. Made it back to the good farmstead. It looks like over there may be a way to get up to that tower. Set out for the barn as a quick stop before heading up to the radio tower for two reasons. One, some warmth. Number two, there's a hatchet in there that I want to take since the other one is at the community center and we may need some extra firewood on the go. There's a climb. Little birds, run, fly. And here's the radio tower. Signal Hill, huh? I'm so happy there's an inside because we're getting very cold. It looks like that road might lead out of the region. It's still dark out, but I need some water because we're pretty low. <gasps> oh no, no! Oh! <laughs> I'm shaking, bro. <sighs> there, that's the bear from last night. Man. There's a hunter's blind here as well. I knew I heard extra feet. This bear is omnipresent. The weather is changing and I want to map this bridge, but it seems both the bear and myself have business in this direction. I guess I'll skip the bridge for now and go for the structure and the fishing hole. Pensive pond. My instinct is to stay and hide until the weather is absolutely perfect, but I have to keep moving. It's getting kind of dicey and we're losing sunlight fast. Stumbled upon a cave with some rabbits hanging around outside of it, which is a very good sign. There's a down deer here as well. We may actually harvest this today. Shelter is there so long as it isn't a bear cave and I don't see any bear tracks or no bones. This is actually pretty great. There's even some stuff here as well. 
got us to firearm level 2 and then stayed up reading more. A horrible storm sets in as we prepare for bed, but we should be fine. Right? My only idea here is to drink hot coffee and stay warm and just go to sleep some more. It seems like the storm is passing. Let's get out of here with the swiftness of foot. The community center should be pretty close by. We made it back. Found the stem cache in the piano. Let's move more today. The moose. The second moose we've seen. Then another crazy storm sets in. So we're stuck for now. The storm is still here in the morning. Finally, when it's died down enough for travel, we hit the community center for a bit of food and then went on about our way. Let's leave the bear alone. A wolf snarl? I don't hear them make that noise very often. Maybe it's going to go eat something. It is. Cool. Thank you, dear, for taking that unexpected wolf attack for us. Finally, gonna explore this branch down the road. We mostly know what's down here, and there aren't very many places to rest. Let's check out this potential cabin on the other side of the birch forest. But careful, because I know that there's another bear around here. I wonder if this forest holds any more secrets. There's the bear, so now we can avoid it. Made it back to the barn house safely. Oh, there must be a bear around because the wolves are freaking out. We're all right, but we got pinned down by more storms. So, guess I'm reading. Exploring more, a line of wolves guard where we're gonna sleep tonight. Close call, but we made it back to the farmhouse. Is it just me, or is that a really cool tree? Back at the Three Stakes Farmstead, I'm going in circles, going around and around, investigating sheer cliffs. I ran into more wolves and then discovered another cave. There's a hunter's blind coming up, but the last one was not a significant survey location. Here we are at the climb again. Let's get some rest and then go when we can. The most sudden storm ever has just set in. What? Is this a bunker? Bro, <laughs> sweet. It's pretty trashed in here, but it's a much better alternative than that dilapidated shed. We can sleep here without worry. I'll map the bunker in the morning. I just can't believe the previous mapping did not pick this up. It's great that we found this place because an awful blizzard also set in this morning. It would have been pretty dire straits for us outside otherwise. made the climb up, and then found the entry into Timberwolf Mountain. This is where we'll probably go after we leave Pleasant Valley. 
exploring more of the road that we first took when we entered this region. I hear some extra footsteps. Run! I wasn't crazy. There was a wolf making its way straight toward us. Whoa, there's a deep cave here. Exploring the cave, came across a waterfall, which is probably pretty bad for clothing, right? Let's strip and then reclothe on the other side. Yikes! Instant hypothermia risk, but putting the clothes back on healed it also instantly, so <laughs> I guess all is well. There is nothing over here. I have no idea what this was for. There are no secrets or anything. Maybe something has the possibility to spawn here, and, and it just kind of didn't. That looks like the tail end of a plane. The trees here are burned as well. Is this a crash site? Took a good shot. Just used a single bullet. The wolves are insane. Skeeter's Ridge, loaded with wolves. Now Skeeter, I ain't hurting nobody. How do we get to the wreck? Flare distress pistol combo. Ooh. There's a cave where I'll probably sleep tonight. On the way to gather the firewood, we found this. There's some airline food. What's the deal with that? I'll have to search the head of the North Charters after drinking some coffee. Became a fire starting expert and found a vista. Oh, it's a shortcut back to the main road. Whoa, my first accessory. I've always wondered when I would find one of these. Yeah, man, we're stylish. Just six survey locations left here. I'm glad we had this fire all night because caves are pretty dicey during blizzards. Dicey, dicey, dicey. We played that one correctly and happened to survive again. Thank you, hot tomato soup. Left and did some mapping. Another long day of it. It's pretty hard finding the named bridges and waterfalls because some of them just aren't named. They're just not significant. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. I thought there was nothing here, but there's a hatch. According to the map, I don't see it at all though. Is it under this mound of snow? I, I cannot find it. And I've spent so much time looking for it. Now I've got a hustle home. Oh no, bear tracks. And yeah, there's the bear. We'll come back out this way tomorrow. I need to have a repairs day soon. I'll go to the farmstead and repair some clothes. The long curve. And an access to a new area. Keeper's Pass South? Great day mapping, but it's very cold. This isn't on the world map. I have no idea what this place is, but it looks pretty interesting. Why does this survey location thing keep breaking? Fog is coming. Let's get back to that farmstead repaired and kind of chilled out. Very nice to not have to worry about blizzards in the night. We've effectively tackled the north of this map, so let's try for the south. Also, I have no idea what to do about that hatch. I'm not going to go back for it. Ugh, an awful storm setting in this morning. Jeez, what an awful storm that was. It was nearly all day. Let's check out this waterfall, the lower falls. So is there a higher falls? Night is coming soon. I don't want to go towards the hunter's blind because there's no good place to stay except Signal Hill where we almost got jumped by a bear the last time we were there. Let's stop by the community center and explore what we can as we head back there. Plus, there's a river over here as well, so maybe there's another falls. There's a waterfall. We've been there, but we haven't been past where the local bear is protecting. The one that roams just past the bridge. I wonder if we can sneak past. Let's go this way since the bear went that way. Hey, it's a cave. Is this the home for the kuma? There are no bones here, so I don't think that bear lives here. Oh no, fog is setting in. This is pretty bad because we won't be able to see danger. Nice, the upper falls. 
But what about back by that other river? I think there's another falls there. I want to wrap around the pensive pond again. It looks like we're leaving at a good time because the bear just started to make its way over here. Super dicey escape down the hill. Airtime is always scary. Two wolves appear, so I bank left. Steep, very steep, and yeah, finally shattered some things and still just got attacked anyway. Wasted so many bullets because the wolf just kept charging. Another bear. The cascading falls. Nice. One more survey location left. It looks like there's a corpse or a carcass around here though. The birds are circling. How am I supposed to get to that? Where do they fall from? Well. The bear's tracks mysteriously end here, so it's a wizard or something. Maybe it misty stepped away. Hey, here it is. Nice. There's really not much here though. Whoa, whoa. Leave Pleasant Valley? It's a cave system. <laughs> nice. Great. We, we finished. We completed mapping Pleasant Valley. Awesome. Carter Hydro Dam environs? I know the Carter Hydro Dam is in Mystery Lake, but I thought I needed to go through the ravine to get there. I guess there's still a lot more that I have to learn about Mystery Lake. Uh, kind of confusing in there, but the winding river? My stomach feels like an empty pit. Set out super early, and of course it's dumb cold out here. So we waited until a little bit later, but check it out. It's actually the Carter Hydro Dam. Some rabbits are holed up here, and there's another respite cave. Circling birds means something is over there, but is this a path? Oh, it's a way up. And finished off the winding river just like that. Is this a navigatable cliff or will we die trying? We made it. There's a deer here. So we may harvest this and cook before heading back into Pleasant Valley. No way, we can't go back to Timberwolf Mountain from here. <laughs> well, I guess we're doing Mystery Lake now. At least I know that Vaughn's rifle is here, so woo! Although majority of the rifle ammo is back at the community center. It's all good. Uh, I know Mystery Lake decently well. I remember that near camp office, there's a climb up to a cave that houses a Polaroid that we can use in the forestry overlook to unlock just about half the map. So. Let's go there first. I'd like to map the rest of Mystery Lake as quick as possible and get this done over the course of the next 10 days. And by the end of that 10 days, be back at the community center for the rifle ammo and then walk into Timberwolf Mountain as an absolute unit, kitted to the teeth, ready for anything that the northeast of this map has to throw our way. Just your average morning in the long dark. After another all day storm, I need to beeline it for the overlook. I may skip some mappings since we can get them on the way back. I want to get to camp office or the overlook today. Pass by the hunter's blind because this way is a shortcut to camp office and to the climb for the Polaroid. Made it to the first climb, pretty easy. Gonna grab some coffee for some extra insurance so that we make it back to camp office today. But we might not, we actually might have to camp here. I'm much too tired. Nine days left in my goal to return to Pleasant Valley Community Center. It looks like a storm could set in any minute, so let's make tracks. I am not wasting time with this wolf. This is why map knowledge is so important. I know exactly where shelter is. That's why going out near a blizzard was perfectly fine for me in this instance. Camp office is just around the bend. And just like that, welcome back to camp office. Tadaimas! More and more snow. I think Mystery Lake just has awful weather. Nearly at the end of the day again, but let's go. I want to show you the unbridled power of a vista. 
eight serving locations instantly, absolutely broken. So I have an idea for maybe about half of the remaining survey locations, but this corner of the map here is a huge mystery to me. I don't remember going there at all. I got revolver skill expert in the night from reading. Low key needed this before heading into Timberwolf Mountain. Looks like there's another little lake over here that isn't mystery lake. Even with expert minor aim assist, I still missed my shot. Oh, there's a bear. I've really got to be careful because another bad run in and I could die. Hey, there's a little house over here. The wolf is scared. I want to map, but that probably means that the bear is coming. I mapped anyway, but it yielded no survey. There it is. There is the bear. This area of the map is like deserted or something. Oh, I spoke too soon. The trapper's homestead? Seven more days and 11 more survey locations left here in Mystery Lake. I've explored quite a bit of this area without discovering another survey location, but what I did find was another ear warmer accessory in the Trapper's Homestead. Whoa, the deadfall area, but how do I map safely here? Let's try some glitchy climbing. Crouch mapping! Forlorn Muskeg, the rail tunnel, and the transition to Forlorn Muskeg. A good deal of survey locations here. The lake trail. I set out early and got Dave's quiet clearing. Now, where is that bunker? Ah, here it is. Whoa, the hunter's revolver? Awesome. found the Emory Memento stash key. Disappointed that at the end of all this, the lake wasn't even a survey location. Map the exit, but what else could I have missed? How can there still be four places left? Is there something else above this ridge? I absolutely do not know how to get up there. Whoa, clutch mapping from the scrawled note. I had no idea there was a cave over there. Could I possibly get to Milton from that direction? To Mountain Town? Grab the MRE stash and then set out after the blizzard had passed. I'm trying to check out the area above this ridge because I'm sure there's something over there. But ugh, there's no way to get up there. Maybe it's a bleak inlet type of thing. Like an area accessible only from another place in the world? You know, that could be the case, but I'm ready to move forward now. I'm gonna call it here and head off. Whoa, what's this place? Allen's Cave? This is a survey location, but the cabins aren't? That's kind of wild. And I truly have I have no idea where those last two places are, but I got so caught up in exploration that I didn't stop to celebrate breaking the 50 day mark. We're halfway to 100. Awesome. Let's grab the rifle and then hit the ravine. It has five survey locations. Map some more on the way to coastal. It's snowy and windy, but we know the way. Down past the bridge, 
and around the path there is a trailer. Then you curve by the trailer and hit up the mines. And of course, made it back to the community center. Now we are a walking armory. I'm super tired, but let's grab some coffee and make for that bunker over by the climb to Timberwolf Mountain. We made it, but here's the deal. I'm about six and a half kilograms overweight and we can't climb while encumbered. This means that we've got to make some inventory decisions. And then I was struck by brilliance. Multiple trips. <laughs> climb up, drop some things off, and then climb back down for the rest. The solution is simple if I let go of my one trip forever mentality. After going up twice, we're very tired and it's not worth pushing into the unknown of a place called Timberwolf Mountain while this exhausted. I'll spend the rest of this day reading and getting some rest for the grand journey ahead. I guess this is a trade-off for the multiple trip mentality that we've adopted. It's early morning now, made the epic climb, grabbed the stuff and then headed on wondering about the story yet to unfold. Moderate fog, is that a wheel? Which way to go? Landing gear, survey location. Shelter, found a place, that's really good. Ah, uh, this place doesn't seem too well insulated. We'll probably need a fire to survive the night. A note here said that a plane went down and something crazy is at the summit. There's a bear outside. Explored around, but didn't find too much more. Crystal Lake. What a foreboding message. The howling went on all night long. of the plane. Once again, I find myself afraid to explore, but I gotta keep moving, so let's do it scared. There's a cave to the right, so let's check that out first and head up the mountain later. There may be a photo vista location or something down here that'll be helpful once we get up to the summit. The flare gun is a life saver. Ooh, that was way too close for comfort. There's a moose, the third moose. Wolves are everywhere. Surveying is pretty tough. Ended up crossing this fallen tree and look at how far away the summit is. Where's the cave? Chasm cave? Oh, it's probably down there. Maybe that's the way to Ash Canyon. There's another cave here too. Found a climb. Headed out and found a cool cave-like formation. It looks like a spot for the mountaineering rope. I think that there was one back in that hut. Another cave and it's a real cave that has some transitions in it. The topography gets super downwardly sloped here, yet this cave is sloped upward, so I have no idea where we're gonna come out. It seems like we're on the other side of Crystal Lake, somewhere just upstream of it. It is so cool that the shadow of the birds can be seen at a proper angle from where the sun in. I'm telling you, it's the little things that get me. Got to cooking level three. This is a great time to bring back out our torch strategy. Oh, there's a wolf just outside. So yeah, let's torch up.
Works like a charm. He's got nerves of steel. We need a hacksaw to break open these cargo containers. Another cave. Whoa, check that out. The lantern typically makes a constant hissing sound unless you climb while holding it. When the lantern returns, the hissing sound is gone. Oh, black rock is this way. The road, we haven't seen roads in a while. The same glitch happens if you're using a fire. So I guess it probably happens with flares too, even though I never check it out. Back to Timberwolf Mountain, I just had the simplest aha moment probably ever. I just realized that I can light a torch just with the match or the fire striker. I don't need a campfire to start the torch fire, which, come on, man. <laughs> it's good to know, it's good to know. Are those actual Timberwolves out there? It looks like pack movement. Aw, wolf. You can't get to me now, can you, buddy? Oh, kawaii soul. Yeah, but I'm looking over there. Because, like, that's, like, pack wolf mentality. Two wolves following each other like that. There's a third wolf. I'm pretty sure those are actual timber wolves. And that is timber wolf mountain. And we've just kind of been in wolf on wolf hill, you know? This torch is absolutely clutch. Strange, heavy footsteps. Oh, there is a bear at the bottom of this climb. Definitely not going down there now. Finished this 25 hour book and now we're skilled with the rifle. I ended up getting super lost. This place is kind of confusing. That's definitely the mountain we're looking for. What's over there? Birds, Andre's Peak. It looks like we have an encounter coming up. My perfect shot just clipped a tree. Backtrack to that hill I was afraid to go down before. There's another engine and a wolf to meet me. Safely mapped and found Chasm Cave. We're right by it, the Echo Ravine. We're over halfway done now. Finally ditched this can opener since I realized that I don't lose calories when smashing open cans anymore. Let's just go back to that climb from before. This is literally the opposite way. Well, we're here. This is the way to Ash Canyon. Hello world. We're back on Timberwolf Mountain Path now, but this just leads back to the plane wing. Huh? Where'd it go? I have no idea where the torch went. Let's make for this engine climb. Whoa, where is this? Cave? Oh, what a worthless energy loss. Another circle. Oh, come on, man. Also, I think that lighting the torch takes more than one match because I'm running out of these rather quickly. So tired that we're gonna have to sleep another night in this cave. It's been so long since we've slept in an actual house. My guess is that up at the top of this mountain is where we're gonna run into some timber wolves because there are lots of wolves here, but most of them aren't actually timber wolves, not like a certain other location in this world. I think the worst is yet to come, but here goes nothing. Let's do it scared. It's cold this morning. Found the cave. It looks like there's a downed wolf here and a person. I guess they might have fought. Nothing really much here, but outside we did find the deer clearing. And awesome, our 100th survey location. <laughs> and that makes 13 out of 20 for Timberwolf Mountain. It looks like a storm might set in soon. I can see a good trail up the mountain ahead. Kind of cold this morning and the wolves are loving it up. There's one walking, another eating. Oh, there's a climb here as well. 
Maybe we'll save it for later because it might not be worth it. Yeah, this way works, but it's somehow eerie here. Are those bear tracks? I've got to be careful. They look old, which means that the bear truly could be anywhere and we haven't seen it yet. So that means it's probably ahead. It also sounds like there's a waterfall up ahead as well. Yeah, here it is, the bear. Also mapped Eric Falls and found a Polaroid. It looks like we have to go for that climb. There's a little cave here and it's one with an inside as well. Another climb and it's tall. Maybe we should have saved the coffee. There's a mountaineering rope here, so we deployed it real quick. The secluded shelf. Splunker's lantern? Whoa, dude. <laughs> Sick, man, awesome. Let's try for the summit today, particularly that down plane that we've been reading about. If we can make it there, then I'm down to leave this region. Made it to both ledges. One last push. Location discovered, the summit. A storm is setting in. This is very bad because I have not found shelter at all. Maybe we can find some refuge in the plane's tail. And oh boy, we found way more than just refuge. <gasps> no, yes. This place is the mother load. MREs. What's the deal with this? There's water, soda, lanterns, food, clothes, ammo, medical supplies, pelts, tools. Amazing! And with that, we're at 18 out of 20 in Timberwolf Mountain. And you know what? Let's take full advantage of this mother load and the shelter that comes with it, patching up all of our gear before moving out. Tonight, we shall feast and sleep for the first time ever with a completely full belly. Oh man, look at us, man, we're looking good. Check out those stats, man. What a truly glorious past couple of days. Ah, today we're heading out. We are going to Black Rock. Hardcore parkour. My ankles are made of steel. And here we are, we're back in black. Let's hit the sack. <laughs> Let's camp in this cave for the night. Whoa, well fed bonus. That's dope, dude. Well fed bonus is very great. It gives us an extra 5 kg to add to our carrying capacity, but it's kind of difficult to maintain and I don't want to lose my food stores trying to keep it. This region is kind of freaking me out. There are no wolf howls. Climb down and read a sign for a mine, or maybe someone's really possessive about whatever this sign is pointing to. The foreman's clear cut. For some reason, Black Rock isn't on my survey locations list. That's very strange. Heading toward an apparent mine, I found a frozen lake with the first signs of wildlife. Rabbits and also a little hut. I see a chimney, so there's got to be a fireplace inside. The bricklayers retreat. Yeah, fireplace. Awesome. I found a memento here. There is a workbench with a little coal bin as well. Awesome. A blizzard set in while gathering, but we're able to make our way back. Let's get going while the going's good. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Those are timber wolves.
Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Hiding in the bricklayer's retreat as the timber wolves snarl outside. I fear that I may die here in Black Rock. Deep into the smoldering darkness of night, the snarls continue to haunt me. Has it been delusions of grandeur that have carried me this far? My only hope is that they do not breach these walls and devour me. Sometimes you gotta strike first, but what if that's the final strike? I guess for one of us it will be. After that exchange, I decided to push into their territory since we are now more sure of their numbers. Ideally, I'd like to avoid them, but if they engage, we have no choice but to retaliate. Mapping again revealed another path, a road to a cave, wedge cave. This is a respite cave, not a true cave system. Progression is slow as we scan for more timber wolves. Found yet another respite cave and a downed deer. Bad weather set in, so we're stuck for the night. A wolf howl. I don't think that Timberwolves make that specific sound. It seems like there's a split in the rock here. The wolf howl comes from the direction of the crack, so we'll check out this road first. Is this the mine? Railroad tracks. Some gauntlets and there's ammunition as well. This is great, but the bridge is out. Also, none of these survey locations are increasing the total survey count either, which is really strange. I guess this place isn't real or something. We're still at 105. Found another bunker here with nothing really in it. Whoa, there's a climb. According to that scrawled message from the bricklayer's house, this is the only way up and down? Let's see what's down here first. Is this a sheer cliff? I don't think that we'll be able to return this way, but gotta keep moving. Let's forge onward and hope that there is a respite cave. There's another climb. This one is huge, man. Ah! What the heck? Did I miss every shot? I don't know what just happened. And we just walked from over there. Where the hell were those wolves? I have no idea where these wolves even came from, and I have no idea how I missed every single shot. In spite of our admittedly lackluster efforts, we lost the well-fed bonus. Somehow, my four revolver shell casings have appeared here. I guess that's kind of cool. Some early morning shenanigans with these wolves. They are, like completely invulnerable or something, I don't know. Then a crazy storm set in, so we retreat back to this respite cave.
harrowing encounter with the wolves. They chased me up the climb. Wow. Barely freaking made that. Okay, come on. Another. Okay, it's it's all right. All right. I'm telling you, man. If we weren't like at full energy, we would not have made that at all. Look at this. There's no respite cave up here. I got half a mind to make some coffee. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Been there, done that. Thank you, problem solving skills. It immediately came back. I don't know if we're gonna make this. So bad. <sighs> what choice do we have? That hit? I can't believe how poorly that went for us. I'm kind of low on food. I'm gonna go straight for that climb today after being pinned down by these wolves for two nights. We have to be able to make it if we're fully coffeeed up. I want to discover those mines because it'll probably be much safer to sleep in there. Oh, I have gloves. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, the other wolf is down. Bro, having gloves is so dope. Look at that. Go. Come on. Brutal. Oh. Absolutely brutal. This climb was crazy, but we made it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Found a cave. And then found the mine. I don't really trust this mine, so let's sleep over here by the door. A noisemaker. It's at this point that I realized a critical error. I forgot to pick up the bedroll before the climb. Luckily, there was a makeshift bed back in that cave that we discovered. Very, very luckily. Started the day with some coffee because we don't have a bedroll, so we have to be able to travel as far as we can while being able to either make it back to this cave or make the climb back down. This abandoned mine has a bone chilling quality about it. The atmosphere, the ambiance, the noises. Oh. I eventually found an elevator. We need a crank to operate it, but found that immediately. Danger, toxic gas. Is there a gas mask around?
It could be behind these lockers, but I have no pry bar to get into them. Made it to an empty shaft. It seems like we just can't progress. All this progress and time to spend just for a dead end. I spent the night thinking about what lies ahead. The road splits here. More low ground and some high ground. So of course we go Obi-Wan here. There's a climb on the high ground and it looks like that low ground leads back to the lake. So let's go Miley here. I found a respite cave up here. Whoa! Ho -ho. Dude, look at this! It's huge! There's a prison, man! I posit that this was the intended destination of that crashed transport bus outside of the town of Milton, over in Mountain Town. It did say Black Rock on it. Uh, cool, we can stay here. <laughs> what? This wolf can see me through the door? And we can in turn scare them through the door. <laughs> That's pretty silly. Two wolves right outside this door, purely active. I can't see them from the other door, so we have no choice but to open it and take a couple of shots. There's a green sign here. Let's leave the main prison for last and go explore this peripheral area first. Grabbing that note, I heard feet approaching with no howl. Timberwolf? I'm not sticking around to find out. It was two wolves. They could have gotten us. Let's close these doors. I got the memo. Apparently the door code for something is up in the mines, but we need a gas mask to go any further than we did. So that's dead. Whoa, these wolves, they're like, there are four of them. Ran back for the mapping and got chased. Is that a bear over there? There's a bear! Look at that bear, it's huge, right? Is it stuck in that fence? Let's go back and check out the bus area. The workbench is the most notable thing. Let's check the steam tunnel. I have a torch so that we can quick swap to the gun if we need to. Danger of electric cables overhead. We have to keep a very close eye on the time. And Aurora kills us here. You know, let's just play it safe and leave. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies anyway. There are four wolf carcasses here, so might as well work on a wolf skin coat.
Are there more wolves outside? I don't know about you, man, but if I see four things that look just like me dead in the same area, I'm not walking over there, bro. There's no way there are wolves to the right. All right, to be honest, I'm kind of freaking out. I'm afraid to explore these tunnels. It's hair-raisingly creepy in there, but <sighs> let's do it scared. This place has to be a mess during an aurora, an absolute death trap. I'm assuming that there's some hot steam that flows through these pipes during an aurora as well. So not just the electric cables, but this too. Eventually found a way out and there's a bunch of flowing water here. It has a really cool effect if you throw something into it. It's the little things that get me. After exploring these tunnels one time, it turns out that they're not really that scary at all. Dropped some things off and then went back out to explore. This door closes on its own. That's weird. Well, you know, I guess it's a safety measure. Also, shooting locks does not work. Found the infirmary. It's clear, so let's loop. Not really much in here though. The rest of the infirmary is cut off. I guess we need to access it through the main prison. Crazy bear sounds from the other side of this wall. The prison is inaccessible from here. Oh man. I think that we have to go encounter those four wolves on the other side of the gate. What a close call. Met with more footfalls. Shot twice and then ran to this door and closed it just behind us. This is the way to the infirmary and to the staff quarters. Climbed up this guard tower and, oh, the warden's revo is here. It seems like it would be great in a pinch, but I don't think that is better than our hunter's revolver. Checking out the living quarters, we found an insulated flask. <laughs> and I will. <laughs> Absolutely cannot access any of these doors from below or above, which is pretty weird. Heading into the prison, this is a dead end too. So back into the fray. I made it to somewhere, eventually. Why is this bear so large, man? Okay, I want to explore past the bear. There has to be something more to this place. Let's be brave. Let's take it on. Let's do it. Scared, but I am small and I am not a recklessly brave man. I played a grubby stealth archer every single playthrough of Skyrim and those abilities will come into play today.
trekked upward and eventually made it to a place where we can access the prison proper. There's a luxurious penthouse suite up here. Got some food and then headed into the warden's domain. Oh, the doors are barricade. It makes sense why we can't open them from the outside. This world, it, it just makes sense. Crawling through a duct to reach the deeper interior, there's so much destruction. Bullet holes, something went down here. Searching around, we came across a long downed inmate next to a ballistic assault vest. It is ridiculously heavy, but marvelously protective. Whoa. Condition armored. Super crazy physical protection. I'm gonna keep this. I know the wolf pelts are curing, but I'm ready to move on and they're gonna take another four to five days to cure. And then there's the time to craft just to replace the good gear that we already have. Made it back to the staff lodging. I want to test out this noisemaker on the wolves here. Whoa, that is such a fast timer. I'm glad that we tested it before using in battle. Gather the things from that gate entrance before heading out back through the steam tunnels and to the power plant. I'd like to leave Black Rock within the next couple of days. Forger's Remnant. There's a climb, but the vest makes it pretty tough. I don't know if I have a climb in me, so let's explore the road. Huh? That is a timber wolf if I've ever seen one. We're not going this way. That's just fully an actual timber wolf. Well, what's the vest for anyway, right? Let's travel faster by walking straight through. Do a left or right? I don't have a visual on them anymore, but... Sorry. Yeah, just there. Hasn't seen me yet. Now it has. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. A trailer, goodness gracious. <laughs> Bridge is out, but how do we make it across the river? Okay, there's a way across. And a bear. It looks like the way through might be past this bear. Set out trying to figure a way around. There is a winding high rise path here. Found another respite cave. And then found the road again. Looks like this is another way back to the prison. A narrow bridge, huh? Timber wolves. Let's see you all funnel across this beam. Go back to the shadow. You shall not pass. Found another respite cave. This one was named and found the old substation. There's some unscrupulous looking peanut butter here. I don't know if I trust this peanut butter. Things under 20%, I just really don't want to eat anymore.
We can repair the transmitter. Awesome, let's give it a shot. The substation has the supplies, but not enough fuses, so the dream is dead. Being pestered by these frightened timber wolves now, let's stay here for the night and then head out in the morning. An early morning visit from our clamorous, carnivorous Caper K9 counter companions. Went down the road and found another bifurcating path. There is a wolf. Ran, dumb, wolf attack! There's a bridge! Instead of going down, let's go around. Another timber wolf pack, and I get the high ground. When will you learn Anakin? There's another Revo here. Found a beat up housing structure. We need water, so let's make it there. It looks like this path here leads to the climb in the crevices. Not super interested in a climb right now, so let's get back to the road. This scary wolf is super far away, so I'm just not gonna walk toward it. Looks like there's a climbing area here. Oh, this is familiar. Yes, the trailer. Well, Black Rock, it's been real. I'm sure that you have some secrets left to uncover, but that's it for me. See ya. So we have quite the journey ahead of us today. We're starting off in this cave system, so we're gonna head down past the engine, through Crystal Lake, past this plane wing, go into Echo Ravine, and then hit Ash Canyon. This insulated flask is awesome. We decide to Skyrim crouch climb down this and almost make it without shattering our ankles. These wolf howls have become a comfort at this point. It's kind of strange. What a lovely day! The landing gear, the mountaineering hut, the lake, and I remember there's a bear around here somewhere. Made it back to Echo Ravine and then to Ash Canyon with great speed. Here we are. A waterfall that seems unnamed. This place is pretty tough to get good visibility with all these tall dead trees. There's an absolutely Brobdignagian climb here. And you know, it looks like that's the name of the game when it comes to Ash Canyon. We need a shelter down here before attempting any climb. Scared it away, just off the strength alone. No flame, but this one tried us. Muck around and mind out. We need shelter. If a storm sets in, we're basically dead. Found a nifty little place on the water. Something to eat. Four out of 20. Decided to drop the armor for now. I want to be more lithe, more versatile, and able to climb freely without having to worry about dropping any more of our inventory. Set out in search of a climb. Just outside of the house is this collapsed looking area. There's a flare gun box there, so there must be a way up and around. Walking around more, we found our climb guarded by a wolf. Or two. Made it up, but wanted to find a respite cave before mapping. The weather could turn any second. Oh no, is there no cave this way? Where is shelter? Found a cave. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it, it got kinda dicey for me there. Now that we have shelter, let's map and explore a bit. There's another climb here with the cache by it. We'll head this way tomorrow. Hey. 
Hey, it's that deer that we shot yesterday. Ooh, whoa! So, our plans for the day have changed. I was gonna go for that climb, but I would much rather secure proper food because I doubt there's much in the way of canned goods since we've only seen one single building so far in this entire region. Today is a cooking day, a slow transport process because I don't wanna be too stinky and pull crazy wolves. I noticed another climb in the distance there while on my last run, 13 cuts of meat, 12 of them are 900 calories. So that's at least 10,800 calories. Beautiful bulk cooking. I'm no Bill Withers, but what a lovely day. Set out super early. Coffee is amazing. Whoa, there is a snow shelter here. A third climb, absolutely brutal. I have no choice but to sleep here. That's a good one. An entire day's worth of energy spent just climbing alone. Thank goodness no weather set in. There's no bridge here? Oh, a gold mine. No way this connects to nowhere, right? Another early day found a hidden cache that has a rope next to it. It's high up and raggedy, it's freaking me out. There's another fork in the path here. Let's go toward the right. Is there a bear around here? Bones. And I thought that I heard something earlier. I decided to turn around here and explore back the other way. And we found a cave. A cave system, maybe? Let's go. There's a climb in here, but it's not that big. I hear water. Another waterfall crossing. Ah, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, a way out. We didn't come out very far away, ventured out and ran into wolves. I want to explore more, but it's a bit risky because night is falling. Let's retreat back to the cave for now.
The climb down led to behind a waterfall. More specifically, it's the Broad Falls. This is a path, a shortcut, an easier way to get back down without that crazy climb. A salient discovery. Let's go back for the gold mine, mapped the Long Falls. climbed down, headed over, and then walked into the mining camp. Now at 9 out of 20 for Ash Canyon, a journey into the mines. This place also gives me the heebie-jeebies. What an ambiance. There's a fire barrel at least. Man, I'm rest soon. I'm gonna faint. And there's a cool camp in here. Crampons? There's another revolver. Oh, look at this. Rope climbing drains less stamina. Dude, these are awesome. I can walk over weak eyes? Oh, look. Oh, that person had a heart attack. Can go back, back. Ha! <laughs> Yo! Sick, dude. A technical backpack? Amazing! <laughs> yeah! Awesome! This place is actually a gold mine. Very aptly named. This backpack makes different sounds when opening and closing. It's a different sound! It is truly the little things that really capture me. The mine exit is back where we climbed up. A great way to wrap back around to where we were. These crampons are so cool. Look at this climb down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh no. Whoa, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, okay. We managed to fend it off, at least for now. Okay, that's kind of silly. <laughs> Ate a bunch and then went for the climb back down to the angler's den. These crampons offer such a great buff. Here's it raw with no coffee stack. I found another respite cave on the way back. The wolf tried me on the way home, muck around and mind out, and we became a fire starting master once home. Tomorrow we set out again. Set out early again, another muck around and mind out moment. There's a dismal and narrow path here that leads to a respite cave. Honestly, a pretty hard place to find. The wolf hung around and allowed us to reach Firearm Master. Looking for a climb up to that bridge. This isn't the way. Yeah, okay, so I found a walk up. Wait, no, this is the way out. Let's see if we can go for that climb that we saw when we were walking in, I think. What? There's no rope here? There's a house up there. We gotta make it. No, no, there's no climb. Today was just another huge circle. Circles and circles and circles. Set out. Found Narrow Falls Cave. How do I get up from here? Now that I think about it, it seems like the only way up is that climb that we took all those days ago. The fork in the road after we passed the gold mine where we saw those bear tracks and the bones. I'm very glad that we found that shortcut by Broad Waterfall cause it'll make the backtrack much easier. I thought this way was it, but I was just met with the ankle full of pain instead. Eventually did make it back to the waterfall shortcut and then headed up toward the long falls, found the cave, went through the water curtain and then made it back up. 
Yeah, that's the way that we saw the freaking bear tracks. Okay, so that's probably how we get over there. Great, we have a plan for the morning. It's gotta be the way to access the rest of Ash Canyon. The bear, there it is. And there's a little town here. Ooh, look at that house up on the hill. The foreman's retreat. Found some ranger stew in here. Went back into the town, located the bear, and then mapped Miner's Folly. Got the key to a lockbox in Angler's Den, which is great because we have to be going back that way anyway. It looks like a storm might set in, so let's wait for a little bit. Explored just a little bit before crossing this bridge, but didn't really find anything. Found another respite cave and the connection to the other side of the map. Potentially to the cabin that we saw by the entrance to Ash Canyon as well. Found a Polaroid! There's a climb to get down to that cabin, but let's go across this bridge first. There are so many climbs. This whole entire place is the meadow. Made it down and started looking for shelter and found a respite cave with an MRE inside of it. Lucky day. This way leads to an entire other meadow slash field. I don't really see anything interesting from here and I have one more place that I want to go to before this 100 days is over. So I won't explore this area too deeply for now. Discovered another bridge, but it's late so we can go in the morning. This might be a rough night. Got a bit sidetracked this morning because I need charcoal, but I did find the bridge. There's a rope here. And a secret path. You need to this. Moving across the bridge, it's official. This location, this region, this place here is the true inspiration for Miley Cyrus. Whoa, this path here connects back to the other side of the climber's cave. And there's a cave system over here. And it goes back to Timberwolf Mountain. Let's get ready to leave Ash Canyon. Heading back toward that cabin on the hill. Geronimo! Made it across this jump shortcut and then a climb. And then a climb. And then a climb. Great job, Astrid. You're doing amazing. And also, thank you Krampins and Coffee Climb Buff Stack. Made it back to the high meadow. I think I got turned around somewhere. I'm gonna rest in this cave for a little bit. After a nap, I got back on track. Map the fire overlook and hit 17 out of 20. Homesteaders respite. 18 out of 20. I figured there was a rope inside of this place. I was right, grabbed it, and deployed it. We'll probably spend the rest of the night here and then leave Ash Canyon tomorrow. Today is the beginning of a pilgrimage. Today's target is the bunker back in Pleasant Valley. But first a quick trip up to Angler's Den for the rest of our stuff. It got me somehow, but died instantly. I guess I waited too long to shoot.
Leaving again, it seems like a storm decided to set in. This place was not kind. You could say it had its highs and its lows. Made it to Timberwolf Mountain, made it to, and then past Crystal Lake as well. Wolf howls ring out as we reach the landing gear. Boots on the ground in Pleasant Valley, we did great. Oh man, it feels good to have my rifle back. We are now a rifle expert. Made it through the mines, then made it through coastal. And back into the ravine. Walked all the way around. Skyrim crouch climbed and then went into this train car and got the mountaineering rope. Deployed it and then climbed down into the trench. This is no longer a guessing game to me I know exactly where I'm going and what I'm going to do once I get there and you might know as well Early morning I secured enough food for the rest of the run then I hit cooking expert before heading out ravine mapped five out of five also mapped this entrance to bleak inlet I Can see echo one radio tower from here right over there there, the watchtower and some timber wolves. I am sure footed, armored up, and I've got 31 little teeth ready to bite if they want to muck around and mind out. I hit up this respite cave real quick first before pressing on. Three shots ended the encounter. We'll come back to this overwatch. First, we need to secure a document from the Echo One radio tower station. Here's the document, a communications report from the long, long ago that details the security code needed to access the cannery's workstation, the inner cannery. On the way back, the wolves are still scared as they should be. Deployed the rope, climbed down, found the road, and then walked straight into the face of danger. Okay. Here we go. Not as smooth of a fight as I thought it would be, but we made it. Too tired to climb, I stripped the armor and released the rifle. Well, this stuff will come in handy. This malevolently maligned mangy group of mutts pestered me the whole way. Absolutely exhausted, I feared that I would fall off one of these beams, but we made it. Slept immediately, and now we wait. Not very long, as it turns out. There's an aurora right now. This is why I pushed so hard. I didn't want to miss a single night. We're in, but too tired to go all the way right now. Let's rest a couple of hours first.
I actually have one more goal in mind that I thought we wouldn't be able to reach, but it seems like we're gonna have the time. Let's leave here today and go west. Grabbing the stuff that we dropped first. Heading out, it's apparent that a bad storm was gonna come, so we ended up having to stay in this trailer for the night. The abundance of Aurora in this region is actually really nice for repairs because you can work through the night if you want. What a beautiful morning. I'm trying to find the exit. It should be somewhere along that ridge. Weak ice? Crampons? Uh, I'm being attacked by Timberwolves. There's a cave here. Perfect. Well, howdy, fellas. If you don't mind, I'll just... I'll just... Oh, it's a regular cave. All right. <laughs> I missed! Yo. With the wind in our face again, make it back to this cave system. And then we make it into Forlorn Muskeg. A wolf immediately meets us, so we made some water before heading out again. One wolf runs, the other mucks around and mines out. Made it to the train car in Forlorn Muskeg. Tomorrow will be the day that we venture to our final destination. An awful storm sets in. Finally, we set out just a couple hours before midday. A very long walk down this railroad, dodging wolves. We made it to Broken Railroad. I'm very unsure of this area because I've never been here before, but I know that I'm looking for more railroad. No shocker, it's broken here. We found a way around and then picked up the track again, and then it broke again, but this time more deceptive. There's a way through. Really? Made it to the far range branch line. Walked a while. And this right here is where we'll stay. The entrance to a whole new world. But check it out at nighttime. An aurora happened to set in tonight. Oh, look at all this beauty, man. A very great way to celebrate having survived 100 consecutive days in the long dark. <laughs> <laughs>